Okay. Um, yeah, I'm Jun, and thank you for introducing me. And I'm honored to have the opportunity to present my work here. Today, I will give you a brief overview of my recent work, Robust Data Century Graph Structure Learning for Task Classification. And task classification is a fundamental uh, task in natural language processing. Uh, however, the performance in this task may sometimes struggle with class imbalanced data set that contain high similarity textual information. Existing model century methods um, do not generalize well uh, on these data sets. In this work, we aim to address the above challenges in test classifications. So um, data century approach could be a potential solution to enhance the performance on this scenario. In this work, we propose a data century approach to address these issues. Uh, in this slide, I will walk you through the process of my proposed approach. My approach basically can be divided into two stages. In the data development stage, at first, we collect the metadata of 112 survey paper about a large language model. And second, we propose a new taxonomy and then labeled each paper to corresponding categories in the taxonomy. And third, uh, we construct a various type of uh, data, such as the graphs and the tests. In the data assessment stage, we evaluate um, the uh, data quality in different paradigms. And later, we uh, visualize the data, and also we store data um, for future retrieval. And next, we will present essential steps uh, in the following slides. And the data set contains a metadata from survey papers about a large, large language model collected up to the November 30, uh, 2023. And we present um, this, uh, the trend of this paper. And uh, know that we only uh, highlight the first release date of this paper. And we labeled this uh, paper to a uh, different category. Know that here, uh, the comprehensive and the others, these two categories, we didn't show up here. So the total uh, category uh, should be 15. And we also um, show the new uh, taxonomy uh, for, uh, for this paper. And um, here in this slide, we present the distribution of our proposed taxonomy. So know that this uh, data set is very, uh, the class is very imbalanced, for example, um, most uh, paper, they may belong to the trustworthy, but uh, for the education law and finance only have one uh, instance. Mm, here we, for the data construction, we construct three types of attribute graphs, test graph, co-author graphs, and uh, co-category graph. Um, we also construct the uh, uh, test data. We include both title and extra in the survey paper. And so here um, for this type, uh, three type graph, we show the number um, for this free type graph. Uh, know that for the test graph, we follow the setting as the test GCM. So, which means that in the test graph, we, it contain two types of nodes um, for the uh, document nodes and the word nodes. So, uh, for each document nodes, it has the corresponding categories, but for the test node, it has uh, word node, it has no. So, we assign all the word node uh, as the last class. So that's why the reason um, the number of class in the test graph are 16, not uh, rather than the 15. And we, we evaluate the data quality in four paradigms. And they are conventional machine learning algorithm, graph structure learning, fine-tuning the pre-trained language model, and zero-shot and future classification using large language model. In our experiment, we found that uh, data science graph structure learning can outperform other three paradigms. So in this slide, uh, we will show the result for this. And this table basically show the result for the uh, evaluation. And we remove the uh, category one by one to show how they, uh, they perform. In the, uh, we say in this uh, block, sorry, in this block, we remove the either one, this uh, cat uh, category and if, we, if uh, these two is, uh, rows shows that if we remove either one, the uh, performance can uh, remain uh, comparable. But if we remove both, it's 
it shows that the result will drop significantly. And this is possible because uh, most connection has been removed. So the topological uh, structure has been destroyed. And uh, the latter part of the, this table, uh, we further remove an, another three categories because this name is very similar to the archives category. But the, the result shows that no matter which one uh, has been removed, the uh, performance comparable, um, it is uh, reasonable because the number instant in this category is relatively smaller. And we also visualize the, uh, this category in, in graphs. So this include all the category, this two, uh, we remove either one. And for this, we remove both category. And it shows that uh, basically this uh, graph uh, verify our previous uh, conclusion. For this V graph, we can see the cluster is still perform very good, good. But for this one is star chaotic. We also visualize the hidden representation on the co-category graphs. And each dot represents one nose and is labeled with one color. So basically um, for this three, we can see it's still uh, perform very good in the hidden representation, but this no. So today we only uh, visualize the result uh, for the graph structure learning. And thank you for interest in my work and the data set and the source code already been uh, released in this link. So please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you today.